Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be replacing the rotors and brake pads in this 2002 Lexus RX300. We're going to be doing all four wheels. Let's get started. These are all the new rotors and brake pads. We bought this as a kit from Rock Auto. There's the um, part number of the kit. So first up, you're going to need to loosen all the lug nuts. Now we're going to jack the back of the car up. We're on the center frame member under there. And then we're going to place jack stands right under this frame member here. All right, now we have both jack stands under the frame. We will take the wheels the rest of the way off. All right, now with the wheel off, you can pull this 12 millimeter bolt out of the brake caliper. Okay, now to get the brake caliper the rest of the way off, you're gonna need to take this bolt out. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. And there's also one right down here. Okay, now I'm gonna pull the brake shoes off. You can lift the caliper out of the way and then slide these out. You want to make sure your emergency brake is off when you pull this caliper off as well. Then you're going to go ahead and remove the second bolt under here. Once you have that second bolt off, the caliper will slide away from the rotor. Careful with your brake line, you don't want to uh, bend it or crease it. Okay, now to pull the rotor off, you're going to need two bolts. They thread into these holes on the front of the rotor. Uh, they're at 14 millimeter head. They measure about 8 millimeters diameter. You want to tighten them down evenly so that it pulls the rotor off square. The new rotor will slide on. Uh, if you line up this hole with this big hole, that's where that rubber grommet goes. So it just slides on there. You want to be careful to keep grease off of these braking surfaces. And then we pulled the old rubber grommet out and you can just pop that into the new rotor here. So now we're going to test the parking brake to be sure it's adjusted properly. <laughs> So we, we applied the parking brake and just making sure that it doesn't spin. Ours were adjusted right. They didn't move at all when the parking brake is set. So that's how it should be. Now we release the parking brake and just checking to make sure it spins freely. We're going to slide the calipers back on. And just slide that over top of the new rotor there. And then line up your holes on the back side, those, those two 14 millimeter bolts. You can go ahead and thread one in at the top. And then the bottom one, and then tighten those up. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and start putting the pads back on. So, first you can go ahead and slide this caliper off this top slide. Careful with that little boot. And then I'm going to just hang that back up here. And then you're going to need to remove your old clips. These ones on the bottom have an extra surface here, an extra tab. So when you pull those out, you'll see they have an extra surface. So you're going to want to find your matching new one. And then they are left and right. So this is actually an inside one. So you need to get the one that goes on the outside. And they're a little bit different design, but they will serve the same purpose and then you just slide that in there like that and then the top one 
same thing. Go ahead and pull that out. And then get a matching one that is, you'll see if you notice the uh, little tab here is bent and like, and it's bent just like this one is. So that, that goes on the outside of the pad. So just up like that. And then do your inside ones. So this was the old outside pad. So with the new one, you're going to want to match up the tabs. And then these came with a little bag of grease. You're going to be careful not to get this on any breaking surface, but we're going to put a little on the back side and then a little on each of these tabs right here. And we're also going to put some on this slide when we put it back together. So as you can see there, just spread a little on the back side, and then I did each point there. This is just to prevent squeaking and help everything slide nicely. And then you can kind of just roll that pad in like that, and then go ahead and do the back one. And then with the back one greased, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Just roll it in, kind of from front of the car to the back of the car you roll it and then make sure it's all the way in and then I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this slide also apply a bit to the smooth part of the shaft on this bolt to keep it from seizing next time we take it off This is the bottom slide on the caliper. We just slid that out and we're going to apply grease to that as well. And then you can just slide that back in to that boot. And then clip those rubber boots back into the slots in that slide. We're going to use this clamp and push the brake piston back in and also keep an eye on your reservoir make sure you don't overflow it and while you're doing this also have the cap off your reservoir so that it can flow back to the top also going to put a little grease on the front edge of the piston Just because it's so rusty. and then you can slide the caliper back on Careful with this little boot on the top slide, make sure it starts okay. And you can slide it all the way back on. And you'll need to slide this bottom slide out all the way, and then you can go back down flush. Also gonna put a little of this grease on the threads of this bolt too, just a little bit, and then you can put that bolt back in. With that bolt tightened back up, you can go ahead and put your tire on and the rear brakes are done. Once you have the car on the ground, you can do your final tightening on the lug nuts. Now we're going to loosen the front wheels up and then we're going to jack up the front and put the jack stands back in and do the front ones. Now we have the front jacked up. You can go ahead and set the parking brake while you're doing the front tires. And so we put the jack under that frame member there, under the jack stand rather, and the same on the other side. And then we just jacked in the middle of that frame support there. These front calipers have two 14 millimeter bolts holding the caliper on. So 
So it's those. And then the caliper will slide out of your way. And hang it on the axle there. These are actually 17 millimeter bolts this time. Top and bottom. And then once again, thread in your two bolts for removing the rotor. Those are the 13 millimeter head. Okay, now you can go ahead and slide the old pads out of the caliper here. And you can replace the clips. Then you can go ahead and pull these slides out. You gotta kinda help the boot off of them. And then um, we're gonna put a little grease on these. Slide that back in. Clip the boot back over and do this one. And then again, put some on the back of the pads. And also the little tabs here. And in that little U a little bit. And then you can slide this in to the clips. slide it all the way through because you can just push it through so just slide it in part way and then repeat for the second pad all right now you can go ahead and slide your new rotor on and then slide your inside caliper piece back on and then start your bolts in And then give those a tighten. After you get done loosening them because you have the wrench going the wrong way, then you can tighten them. And then you can go ahead and press your brake shoes all the way on to the flat against the rotor there. We're gonna use our clamp to close that piston back in and once again, keep an eye on your reservoir, make sure it doesn't get over full. And when you're pushing this piston in, since it's bigger, just go nice and slow so it, it pushes in squarely so you don't get it crooked at all. Just give it a little tighten and then wait for it to kind of release. Once that's all the way in, you can put a little grease on this front surface and then slide it back on. All right, so just put a little grease on that front surface. We're just doing this mostly because ours are pretty rusty. And then you can slide that over the pads. When you go to put these bolts in here, if you'll notice, there's a flat surface on this slide. So you gotta kinda make that to the flat surface here. And then put your bolt in. So as you can see there, there's a kind of a flat area right there. So you wanna make that, kinda make that. Same on the bottom. You'll see that there's a, a flat area. So just make that fit nicely. And then thread your bolt in. These are the 
14 millimeter ones. Once you're done, also it might be a good idea to check your reservoir, make sure it's full. It's the one right here behind the air box. And just give that a look, make sure it's full. Then you can put your tire on and the front brakes are done. And that will about complete this video. Uh, I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.